about 7 30 in the morning and i've just taken my boy to work or i've dropped him off at the station and this is what i do every morning so apart from the weekends um today we're having pizza because my cousin is coming so major cheat day today although to be honest i do cheat quite a lot so nothing new there so the mornings i don't eat until 12 o'clock because i intermittent fast so today i'm gonna try and not eat too much at breakfast time uh, probably it'll probably just be like a post-workout meal because i'm gonna go and work out before 12 <gasps> work out before 12 and then i'm going to uh, and then i'm going to hold out for pizza okay so um if i am awake really early and i don't go back for a nap because there was a time that i just napped in the morning whenever i woke up really early to take mike to work but today i am you know really try and not nap but my favorite teeth is this yogi tea. I don't know if you can. So basically it's just, um, it's a blend of cinnamon, cardamom and ginger. Um, there's some cloves, black pepper, cinnamon oil in it. It's a nice organic tea. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's kind of like, if you like chai, then you're going to like this. And these tea bags are really nice. So. Um, they're very mild, very easy to drink, and I'm, I swear to you that the cinnamon helps me feel like satisfied and the, the, the cinnamon oil and the cloves keep the, my bloating, like the bloating of the stomach away. Yesterday we had a sort of kind of like a cheat meal as well, so <laughs> this is going to help. Hi! Hi darling! Hi baby! Are you happy? Are you happy honey bunny? Hmm? You're just a blob. In this light. I see your pretty face. Can you see your pretty face? You pretty girl? You're a pretty girl. Oh yes, you're a pretty girl. <laughs> I love you too. Oh, come on. <laughs> so, in this video, I wanted to talk about ways in which you can start changing your uh, diet and changing your fitness habits. Um, kind of like how to get yourself to the gym. But I don't want to say to the gym because some people don't like going to the gym. But for me, my form of exercise is the gym. But before we get there, I think we should have. A proper body shot. So this is me at the moment. I mean, you know, yesterday I ate a bit too much, <laughs> and so I'm feeling a little bit bloated. Um, and I still haven't really properly weighed myself. Today is the day, though. I do try on the. Bridesmaid's dress um, because I'm going to go get the length fitted. I bought the shoes for them. Oh, hopefully, maybe next time I put the pictures on. But these days, um, you know, like my arms still need a lot of work, but they are a lot better than they used to be. They don't, they don't, <laughs> they don't half jiggle as much as they used to. But um, actually, I'm a lot prouder of them than that than I used to be. There has been some improvement. Um, even I can tell that and I'm not very good at uh, sort of spotting my own differences but um, these jeans are definitely a lot looser and I'm trying to work on an ass um, that's me at the moment and this is um, and this is the best I've been in a long time. You know, I don't think weight wise I've changed much, but, sorry, I don't think weight wise I've changed very much, 
but body shape wise I know I have because my clothes do fit differently um, which is very exciting and that's all that matters girls and guys so how to begin uh, making small steps to start losing weight or changing your body shape so um, I think this is probably more of a personal uh, set of tips um, obviously because it's the only one that I can give you I wouldn't ever like, give it the advice that I haven't really used um, so here goes I think the first thing before you do anything is to choose either declare to everyone that you're going on a diet do not take me out do not take me out to eat do not um, uh, <laughs> tempt me with food do not bring food over forget me at the um, weekly cake clubs um, do not you know buy me food and gifts um, if you're gonna buy me a gift make it a kettlebell and all of that kind of stuff or you can choose to not tell anyone at all it depends on how you work uh, for me I told everyone uh, everyone that mattered anyway because um, I come from a family very centered around food and that's probably one of the the biggest uh, problems that I have so I basically told everyone this is what's happening this is the issue um, please support me if you can um, and so far obviously my whole family have been very very supportive especially um, my other half who has been on the journey with me and uh, we've both been doing very very well so uh, choose one or the other and um, because uh, your social surroundings and your influences are really going to make or break the beginning of your um, journey so to give yourself a good foundation to give yourself enough support or at least give yourself some confidence you should really uh, consider whether you want to tell your family or friends so second of all um, I'm gonna say is to really look at your food before you even go to the gym um, I would look at your food because most of your weight loss is going to be dependent on uh, the food that you eat because whatever you put in your body is whatever you know you can see on the outside and that includes your skin and your hair and um, your brain functioning um, and also uh, if you're eating crap you're gonna look like crap and, and that's the truth so uh, I would begin meal prepping and I used to meal prep uh, loosely and now I meal prep very uh, well um, every week <laughs> uh, and as for what you would meal prep there are plenty of videos online on how to meal prep food my advice would be to stick to something simple uh, just make it like your protein and your fats and your carbs so the three main macros and just do that so basically macros are your macronutrients they are your fats your proteins and your carbohydrates and those are the things that are important and um, this is how I do it of course you you don't have to do it this way um it's a lot of it's it's how people do flexible dieting um and that's where you hear the term if it fits your macros and this is what i do so i kind of look at what i'm eating and i just kind of split it and i'm not the type of person to eat very boring food so i'm not a very sort of chicken breast vegetable and avocado type person um, I can do that but I cannot do that like week in week out because um, I'm a person who likes to enjoy different foods all the time it's what I live for so I, I personally do spend a lot of time trying to make recipes that don't bore me and that you know take a little bit more extra thought in and my meal prep may take a little bit more time but it doesn't have to be that way for sure if you are stuck on time there are loads of easy options just like you know fish fillets um, chicken like chicken breast pieces um, uh, sort of readily prepared frozen vegetables are always a good one and uh, just kind of like easy easy batch things that you can make so if you're eating carbs you can do like batches of brown rice or you can like steam a whole load of potatoes or whatever you're going to do so meal prep is very very important and I spent a lot of time using my fitness pal and again you don't have to use my fitness pal 
um, but having a way to log your um, food your like a sort of food diary is uh, very uh, advantageous to you because you can look back and see what worked and what didn't work and also the app um, helps me calculate my macros and whatnot so if you're into that kind of thing if you want to put that extra bit of effort into your weight loss and be that tiny bit more meticulous then you can go ahead and do that because the app is free and I'm not being paid to say that I'm just saying the app is free um, obviously if you want to calculate your macros and have that option you do pay for the premium on the app but for me I think it's well worth it the third thing is to work out your food triggers and figure out how to um, substitute them so my vice is stuff like cake I get huge cravings for them and that's partly because um, I am slightly addicted to sugar, um, not so much anymore but at least it used to be. And protein bars help and cakes, uh, sort of like mini bars that you make from maybe some like oats and some um, maple syrup or like some protein powder, maybe some quinoa or whatever, that kind of stuff really helps. So if your food triggers are things like copious amounts of carbs and whatever, I would suggest that you know think about how to work that into your diet without depriving yourself. For me, uh, being Asian, we are big, big, big rice buckets and we crave rice all the time. Um, so far, I've managed to curb my cravings by having rice. Uh, not actually, I don't have rice that often, but um, I've, I'm sure that in this process I've had rice a couple of times. And uh, otherwise, I do cauliflower rice, which is very popular these days. Um, and if you're dying for the bit of rice, then just have a bit of rice. It really doesn't matter. And the next tip is now about fitness because um, if you really want to change the shape of your body and you want to um, accelerate your weight loss, then fitness really helps. So whatever you choose to do, um, make sure that you're going to really uh, commit to it and enjoy it. And of course, this wasn't my train of thought when I started the gym because I absolutely hated the gym, but it was the only thing that I really could feasibly do because there wasn't anything else I really wanted to do. Uh, my other half loves the gym, so it was just natural that I went with him. And over time, I've really begun to enjoy it. And I kind of, you know, like, for example, yesterday, I didn't want to go. I felt like death yesterday. But inside something told me I will want to go when I'm there and so I didn't regret it, I did um, I did really well at the gym yesterday. So even though um, for a lot of you guys exercise may seem like something you would never even consider, you, would, you, you may surprise yourself because I sure surprised myself. And of course if you're at the beginning of your journey then choosing your form of exercise can be difficult because sometimes it's also a social thing so when i first um, joined the gym i didn't go that very often so now i go about four times a week whereas before i honestly just went about twice a week um and that was only with my boyfriend so what I would do is that in the other times I would work out at home. So you may, I'm, I may have done yoga or some kind of like aerobic exercises at home. Sort yourself a hit workout. Try to hook up your internet to your TV or use your TV or use your computer screen or just use your phone. Whatever, whatever works for you. Working out at home can be um, done if you really want it to be done. Uh, if you thrive in an environment full of people who are working out then obviously a gym is going to benefit you which is something that's really good for me because sometimes working out at home I start you know I don't have as much motivation however in saying that at the beginning of my journey I did work out at home quite a lot so we did um, a lot of yoga and just uh, Stuff that made me feel more confident in the movement of my body so when I did go to the gym more often I felt better about myself. And when you start embarking on your journey you're going to want to take some sort of progress picture or something like that. I've taken several hundred pictures of myself and I pretty much do it every day and I wouldn't do it to the point where you're starting to obsess over it but I honestly don't do it 
because I'm obsessed I do it for progress and I enjoy it because I don't really see much difference but sometimes when I've compared very old photos from like day one until now I can really see the progress so maybe the days where you don't feel like you've uh, you know you've had many gains or you feel like you know you've put on weight you feel bloated sometimes looking at these pictures really can help so i would definitely find a way to take pictures of yourself use your phone use a camera use your webcam whatever you want and document your weight loss in your own way you don't have to have an instagram but i do uh, check me out at hang with miss pang and um, uh, instagram um, but if you don't have to have one of those but you can just to record your own progress also i want to talk more about food because food is um again like i said very key to your weight loss so for me um i don't shy away from fats i don't shy away necessarily from carbs or um pro proteins my diet is very fairly balanced at the moment like i said before i used to have a high fat low carb diet which worked at the very beginning but for me mentally I'm quite happy to do a balanced set of macros at the moment. It may or may not change later, but currently my fats are slightly higher than the other two macros and the other two macros are very similar. And um, as a woman, having more fat in the diet seems to have been very beneficial. So um, I wouldn't worry too much about uh, what set of macros you're doing, whether they're right or not. So to find out your calories and your macros, you just go to a website like iiyfm.com which is the one I used and you just plug in your information and then your set of recommended calories and your macros will come out and you may or may not choose to follow it to exact you can sort of switch it up a little bit but if you're a very very beginner you could um, definitely go with the macros that it comes out with for me having switched from high carb uh, low fat to this set of macros I've also seen very good uh, amount of progress so I wouldn't worry too much about that you don't have to worry about whether you should be going high carb or low carb or whatever um, part of this way of losing weight is it's flexible and I think overall it makes for a very happy person especially if you're the type of person who likes to eat a lot like I do and likes to eat um, all sorts of foods so um, that is my recommendation on how you should find out your calories and your macros. Um, okay, so let's talk about cheat days. Some people may choose not to have cheat days because uh, some people are just like that, you know, and it works for them. But for me, I cheat day a lot. So, um, and I'm not recommending that you should cheat day because uh, as much as I do because I feel like it hinders my weight loss if I was stricter I probably could do better but who's to say that my um, diet would last as long as it already has <laughs> and it, it never usually lasts for very long to be honest so, and I never usually stay this motivated and I think and I think it's because you know I do allow myself the things that I want to eat every now and then or at least I find a very good substitute um, and I don't I try not to feel too bad about it you know so for example tonight I know I'm having pizza so I'm going to have a very small meal post-workout it was probably going to come in the form of maybe some fish and maybe a protein shake and we'll see how many calories I've got left after that and then it's going to be all pizza baby it's going to be pizza and I'm not going to worry too much about it because you know why? This morning I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to make sure I don't eat overboard. I'm not eat too many sides. And uh, tomorrow we're going to be at the gym again. And uh, honestly, I feel like a short amount of time every like most days of the week is um, beneficial to me. A bit may not. It may be different for you. But um, maybe I work out about an hour, an hour a day. The 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 least I do is going to be about 45 minutes in a day sometimes i've been known to work out for about two hours but honestly it sounds very intense it's just not very i may be in the two hours there may be half an hour of me just walking around so <laughs> i wouldn't worry about <coughs> overtraining yourself you may want to really ramp up your 
weight loss and you're you really want to you know go balls to walls but in my um experience slow and steady wins the race and i wish i knew that years ago i wish i didn't do all the fatty diets i wish i didn't <sighs> just treat treat myself the way i used to um having cheap foods and eating healthy 90 percent of the time and working out has made me feel better than ever and it's made me feel very good about myself so um if you're at the beginning of your journey i really hope that you consider being kind to yourself and consider um just kind of taking baby steps at the very beginning and then you can be on your way to losing weight just like i am um and that's all i have to say really so thank you for watching i really hope that if you're at the beginning of your journey i may have um helped you out with a little bit um i hope that you will subscribe and stay tuned to this channel and watch my weight loss and progress and uh connect with me on instagram at hang with Mr. hang i hope that you know we can support each other and i will see you in another video